autumn yet, but I think autumn is my favourite time of year for running. I'm trying to pull that pace back to a super easy ultra pace, which is probably back here actually. That's why I'm running a bit too fast. Um, just trying to get that easy all day enjoyment of running feel. Probably going to do about 75 minutes of hilly cross country. Um, it's going to rain this afternoon, so likely no climbing this weekend. I said that when we got back from our two week holiday, driving the van VWT4 around Wales and up to Scotland and back, it had three problems with it that I needed to fix. All minor. MOT coming up this month. Sticking the badge on the back, that was uh, quite a cheap job. I think the badge only cost me $12.99 from eBay. I did have the idea of 3D printing an insert to go underneath the black badge and painting that yellow. Um, but I thought I'd try, because I had to fill the holes anyway, painting them yellow. See what it looked like, seeing how I live with it. I know that when, you, when you're doing jobs and you get too close to the details, all you can see is the details. But then when you live with it and you step away and you don't see the details, you just see the, the thing from further away. It usually it looks okay. So I'm going to live with that badge. I like the black. It makes everything else look a bit grey though. But see how I live with it. See if I like it. And if I don't like it, I can always pull it off, put another badge on or do the 3D insert idea. Um, fog light. Oh. Well, that was lucky and beautiful and easy. That was just a little bit of corrosion on the bulb. Scrape that off. Great. Now, the door, because there's an MOT due this month, to pass the MOT, you do have to be able to get out of both doors. Um, and door locks tend to be really, really fiddly jobs, and they can take a while. So I'm actually going to put this through the MOT and see how that goes. And then I'll tackle the door lock job rather than get halfway in, lose some bits, break something else, not be able to, you know, get it working again. And then it fell the MOT because of that. But it, you know, very, very minor. It works. It's just either the spring's gone or it's going. So, you know, I'll get there. On an old van, there are always jobs to do. Sometimes they're small ones, sometimes they're big ones. Sometimes you get lucky. Often you don't. Gonna need some rain, the Ford has dried up. That's normally a Ford. Those two weren't the greatest examples, but if you've watched my channel before, you've seen me fixing things, and it all comes from the same place. When you fix something, you develop an understanding of how something works. It's easier now than it ever has been before with all the information we have on the internet, right? 
Um, but also it gives that satisfaction, enjoyment, saves you money because you keep things running longer. Uh, we talk a lot about recycling these days, don't we? But the longer you can keep something running and using it, the less need there is for something new or for you to recycle it. And you've probably seen in the news recently the right to repair movement um, because many companies are making it harder for us or to get other people to repair our things that we theoretically own. They're making it harder to repair things, building in a planned obsolescence so that we have to buy new things. Kim's gonna be uh, sad that she missed you. She loves you guys. How are you doing? Hello. Oh, you're so fluffy. Oh, you're all hiding in here, are you? Don't get up on my account. I'm just going past, don't worry. You big fluffy, big fluffy moves. I haven't seen you guys in here for ages. We're on the edge of the gower now, and the gower has a common land. You can graze your cattle freely, so they wander around a bit. If you're watching this channel because of the anatomy, you probably come from the same place that I do, in a, a very basic wish to understand how everything works. And that starts with the body. And understanding how the body works is probably one of the, you know, <laughs> the hardest and biggest tasks and that's why I studied anatomy after school that's why I did a PhD and that's why I continue to study it and teach it because there is nothing more fascinating or relevant to us to understand than how we work right and we don't we don't understand it all but just because I've said we don't understand it all it doesn't mean you can go out and make up hypotheses without testing them or read things on the internet that fit with your anecdotes or theories because we all do it again it's part of human nature science is hypothesis driven we view the world around us we make a hypothesis or a null hypothesis then we work out how we might test that and then we see whether the hypothesis is right or wrong still getting me the word anatomy as I was telling the first year the new students last week means to cut up so anatomy um, to study the body that's what we do we take the body apart and study it and fixing electrical mechanical things and um, we use similar methods we take it apart and study it don't we it's easy with it's easier to put mechanical things back together again than things that bleed the rain is starting oh it's so nice be able to run easily again. Your turn. <laughs> 